Hello everyone. Welcome to Willie Bulletman's channel. No. Hi, welcome to Willie Bulletman's channel. No. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining my channel. I have a heavy unboxing. So let me somehow rearrange this camera so you can see what I see. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Lead Bullet Junkie for sending me this. Very much so. You're a wonderful person, and I really appreciate you working to deal with me and sending this to me. So let me get you over here. Don't you hate when you mess up on an unboxing video? You had it all done. You thought everything was finished, and you realized that no one saw shit what you recorded. Gotta love that. Gotta do it again. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to take pieces out because I already did this video and I screwed it all up. So, I'm just going to show you pieces. I bought something from a good friend of ours, Lead Bullet Junkie. He worked a deal with me, so now that should explain everything right there. I'm on the blue team. Square Deal B. Yeah. Since I've already unboxed this, he gave me the full set of dice for the 45 ACP. Full set of changeover dice for the 38357. 38, I'm talking too fast. I apologize. Another super cool deal. And he mentioned that he was going to send something else to me. And I don't want to drop the press body, so stand by. Game of the Tall. Dylan Precision Lift Plate. That's really cool. I appreciate that so much. That is really, really cool. See, now you don't get to see the mess from the first video. I had crap all over my table, and I'm not going to show you that now since I don't have to. I have a nice square Adobe body, and you're right, Lead Bullet Junkie. It does need to be sent, it does not need to be sent to Dylan to, to be re put back together. No, I just need to, you know, get the manual for them and I'll put it together. It, it doesn't need to be rebuilt. Let's put it that way. This is perfectly fine going to be fun to do so this is really cool big chunk of heavy aluminum too now i see the floor plate too so it's going to fit really good yeah it's going to be cool this is going to be really cool guys sorry i'm bending down putting parts down and everything's falling again here's the quick change these are the 38 357 if i can learn to read upside down he also gave me the 45 ACP, right on. I have already bought the 38 Super Dies, the complete changeover kit. Um, here's the fail safe rod from their videos. And these are the primer tubes, blue, yellow, and let's see, N prime tube. Okay, so there's the inner prime yeah i guess that's the inner one because here's the rod here the, the feed down that must be the small primer probably i don't know i'll have to figure that out if that's a small primer or a large primer um another powder dispenser arm i'll have to figure out which one is which which one's for the 45 which one's for the 38 i know which one's for the 357 I already have the 9 mil, thanks to Kyle Les, because he gave me one of these right here. He's beautiful, dependable, Dillon Precision Powder Dispensers. These things are awesome. After you put the first round through, dump the powder back in after that, you don't have to worry about it. At least that's the way it is on that one. Load master over there. Pull the handle once, bingo, it's done. The next time, it's completely done. Oh, there's the top of the primer arm cap as you see me it's right here i'm trying to get it out it's all taped in nicely you did a very fine job of packing everything up lbj there's the pr prim main primer arm so that tube goes inside i see I, I see how it works now i gotcha so that goes up on top i understand and that tube goes down inside that's cool i gotcha let me just put this back on here so I don't end up losing anything. And I was surprised that the post app, post man delivered it today. It said after 7.10 it was supposed to be here. 
no later than 710 and it got here almost nine o'clock my time so there's the blue and okay that's the large one for that goes inside and the other one goes inside i gotcha i gotcha small primer tube large primer tube that goes inside the primer arm i understand completely now that's cool that is really really cool and some more Dylan parts. They're both the arms for it. LBJ, you did a great job boxing everything up, my friend. The cam over arms. Dylan, Dylan, yeah. Finally got a Dylan. Only because LBJ is a gracious host and gave pity on the bullet man. Where'd that spring go? And I think I got a little AR spring. So thank you, I could use this on one of my lowers. That looks like a lower spring, but I'll find out if the spring goes to this kit. I think you just accidentally gave me a uh, bolt release spring. That's what it looks like for an AR. So there it goes, guys, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a proud owner, papa of a square deal B. And uh, that's really cool, really cool. Can't say much more about it than that, but thank you so much for watching this video. And the next one, well, let me say this. I have been reloading. Let's come over here. Just a quick view. I've been loading some 5.56. Five, Those are the bullets from Andy 79 Z28. Loading them up with unique from six grains to nine grains. Actually, six grains, six and a half grains. 7.3 grains and nine grains of unique it's minimum is six maximum is nine let's see how it shoots and how these bullets how they spin with unique gunpowder let's put it that way uh, i'm not using the powder that he uses so you know gotta try something see how they fly all right guys thanks for stopping by i hope everyone is safe and uh everyone has toilet paper because here in California, there ain't no toilet paper anywhere. Unless you go robbing somebody. Who knows? You know, right now we're going uh, south of me. Lockdown. San Francisco, San, my old area where I live, San Joaquin. Lockdown. You're not allowed to leave your house unless you absolutely have to. They want you to stay inside. If I need to leave my house, I'm going to get in my car. I'm going to drive. It's not martial law yet let's hope it doesn't get there so thanks for stopping by appreciate it god bless everyone and thank you